Typically the process of developing interiors for aircraft involves working with the manufacturer and a number of catalogue suppliers who supply everything from seats to galleys to lavatories uh, to lighting systems to carpet and so on and choosing which of those products that you want to fit out your new aircraft with. So at the start of this process we visited uh, Boeing's uh, seat gallery uh, which is where you look at the products that are available uh, to fit out your new aircraft with. And to be quite frank, when we went through that process, we were underwhelmed. A true innovation and, and breakthrough thinking often comes by setting people impossible goals. Uh, and one of the goals I set Ed's team uh, was to say it would be great if we could have passengers able to lie down in economy. Uh, but I don't want the seat to take up any more space and I don't want people to have to pay any more for it. Uh, and he said, oh, that's no problem. Um, but there were many, many conundrums, in fact, that we set out to, uh, to try and challenge ourselves to resolve. We didn't resolve them all, uh, but we think we have made some strides that truly set a new standard uh, for what is possible in all three cabins within the plane. We engaged with four of New Zealand's leading structural design organisations. We asked them to come in and pitch to work with us on seat design and to reduce these 30 concepts to something more manageable. When they came in to pitch, they were expecting to be given a 25% chance to win all of the work, uh, but instead of which we asked all four to work collectively and cooperatively. These are four very competitive organisations. They've never worked in this way before. They created their own versions of our concepts, criticised each other, pulled them apart, and were fundamental in taking 30 concepts down to five. And through that process, five concepts that we come to live and breathe and love were narrowed down uh, to two radical new seating options uh, that we're about to show you. And I'll show you one concept uh, which we can show you in, uh, in the warehouse very shortly. This is something we loved, it was called staggered seating. This is a new way of achieving this holy grail of creating much greater seat pitch and personal legroom in the economy cabin. This allowed the middle seat of a row of triples to move forward and therefore create far greater legroom. We thought this was a winner and when we put people in the seats, the description they used was crowded isolation. Uh, you were sitting by yourself intensely aware of people around you and fretting about personal security and whether people could actually uh, stare at your shoulders or stare at your back while you were sitting in that seat. Uh, and as we tested that seat and really examined the customer acceptance of it, we rejected it. And ladies and gentlemen, now we'd like to take you through into our mocked up interior and show you these new concepts. Thank you very much. Three conventional houses. See here we have a young couple uh, stretching out on the seat. It is a flat surface. We will be providing a blanket uh, for people to stretch out. We will have 22 sky couches on board um, the aircraft. The armrests fully retract, and we we believe this provides uh, a very comfortable flat uh, surface uh, for resting and for sleeping. These will be on uh, the windows, effectively the outboard side of the aircraft to allow room effectively for headrest uh, in the corner. As you can see, uh, perfect for couples, um, but also uh, for families. We will be pricing the Sky Couch at around uh, $200 over the price of a conventional economy seat. And we will be aiming for couples who buy the extra seat to get that third seat at around the half, half price of buying a third seat conventionally. So we very much want to position this as a sleeping option, as a couple option, and as a family option. As you can see, we have a young family here. We believe that the Sky Couch is also a perfect environment for an adult and two children. The adult can either be uh, sitting upright as Kyla is here, uh, with two children either using the surface as a play area, or indeed curled up and sleeping on the surface as well. We believe this is a very versatile option. It gives us many, many options of rest, many different seating positions, um, and uh, greater flexibility for people to use the personal space in economy. The seat is a 33-inch pitch seat. 
and a 17 inch width seat which uh, is very similar to the current, uh, current space available on our 747 um, economy class seat. One of the interesting aspects you'll notice in the economy seat uh, is that we have winged headrests that give the head much greater protection while sitting in economy. There is a pillow currently provided, but we've designed a pillow that actually slips over and fits on the headrest and can be pulled around the head like so, giving Sarah much greater neck and head protection. Another major feature, very significant feature of the economy seat will be the ability through our in-flight entertainment system to order snacks and drinks through the in-flight entertainment system. So if Sarah at this moment chose to have a Diet Coke with her burger, she can simply request that through her in-flight entertainment system. Instead of pressing a call button, waiting for a flight attendant to come, given an order, flight attendant goes back to the galley. In one movement, flight attendant gets an instruction in the galley uh, to bring a Diet Coke along with the meal. So a much simpler and far more customer orientated in-flight entertainment system that we think complements both the current economy seat and the radical new Skycatch option. Uh, you would buy two, two economy seats um, and probably the, uh, the third one for around half the price of one economy seat. But the great thing about um, two people being able to um, sit in the space is you can uh, use the whole space and you actually own um, the whole space. So it means you can uh, sit anywhere you like, um, get comfortable uh, while you're awake and then if you are going to um, sleep, There's no problem spooning. So there will be a button um, on the side of the seat, uh -huh. um, just the same as how you uh, do your recline. Uh -huh. uh, you'll press that button, it'll pop up to um, 60 degrees, uh -huh. uh, and then you just lift it a little, a little bit further. A bit and it just locks it in nice. place. Um, and it's designed for 300 pounds, so anyone's going to be able to stand and jump on it.